Hello and welcome to this week's Git Plus TV news supported by OpenGear, the industry standard platform of choice for modular signal processing. So let's get straight on with the news this week, starting with CVP, who have announced the launch of a new event dedicated to lens technology, the European Lens Summit. The free to attend event is the first of its kind in Europe and has been designed to offer thought provoking discussions, highly technical workshops and masterclasses. It's going to take place on Saturday the 20th and Sunday the 21st of May at CVP's newly refurbished Brentford facility in West London. Digibox has announced a new partnership with Cinefilm. They are tools used every day by over 600 facilities around the world, ensuring the highest image quality and playback for distribution of everything from restored classic titles to major new releases and documentaries. It's, uh, it's trusted for global events such as the World Cup and the Olympics too. Cinefilm's Tachyon and Dark Energy tools are the acknowledged gold standard for standards conversion, including cadence cleanup and noise and grain management. Their wormhole product has set a new quality bar for content retiming. If you want to find out more on their solutions, then check out the NAB playlist where Simon spoke with Lance. Yeah, indeed. We covered SAS Media Transformation Tools, I recall. You can uh, find Cinefilm and all the other videos that we did at NAB, kitplus.com, and um, you'll then just do a search for them and you'll find the um, interview link on Kitplus TV. So next up is Synergy, who are working with Tyrell to deliver a cost-effective playout solution. The system is rolled out as part of the Tyrell Cloud, a bespoke secure cloud service developed specifically for the needs of the media industry. Central to the solution is Synergy Air, the powerful real-time broadcast automation and server application. Like all Synergy solutions, it's entirely implemented in visualized software, so it's a perfect match for the vendor-agnostic Tyrell Cloud. It provides fully automated playout in any resolution up to Ultra HD and 8K, with the option to take manual control as operations demand. Lucid Link has awarded Jigsaw 24 Media gold level partnership status in their recently restructured channel partner program. Jigsaw 24 Media is now one of only 20 worldwide Lucid Link partners and the only gold level partner in the UK media and entertainment industry. Lucid Link File Spaces has taken the industry by storm, being named as one of IBC's best of show winners in 22, becoming the first cloud collaboration tool to adopt the TPN Plus platform, and also receiving the NAB Show Product of the Year Award in both 2022 and 2023 for its unique approach to cloud file services. Now, continuing the momentum from ISC and NAB this year, uh, Matewell is bringing exciting demonstrations of its latest solutions to Infocom next month. They're exhibiting on booth 2855, where the company will showcase recent releases alongside established products and some new surprises. Matewell's capture, IP conversion and streaming solutions enable or enhance applications ranging from video conferencing and online learning to live event production and medical imaging. Pixitope have released Pixitope Pocket, available as part of the Pixitope Education Programme. The app gives aspiring virtual production professionals what they need most, easy, unfettered access to augmented reality and virtual studio tools and workflows. Circumventing the need for a fully equipped studio, students need only a smartphone running the latest iOS and a PC to create powerful and immersive content anywhere, even dorm rooms. With the introduction of Pixitope Pocket, the Pixitope Education Programme expands the ways in which students can engage with virtual production tools and workflows. Students can now access all the production tools via both their school's existing media production infrastructure and their own technology. VizRT has announced the availability of three new products, Viz Flowix, Viz Data Connectors and Viz Social, after integrating Flowix unique offerings into the wider VizRT product portfolio. VizRT's new solutions with the addition of Flowix technologies simplifies production workflows for all customers, from broadcasters to service providers, streamers and YouTubers, showcasing the company's evolving offerings due to the changing demands of content creators. TV Direct has upgraded its ingest channel, branding and automated player infrastructure to a full Playbox Neo system in cooperation with playout service provider PSI Broadcasting. The enhanced servers and software are located at PSI's Bangkok headquarters. 
Playbook's Neo Channel in the Box systems are now being used for TV Direct's complete output comprising nine HD channels transmitted via satellite. Content ingest, title, graphics, on-screen text, scheduling and playout are all performed within the Neo user interface. It's perfectly suited to its mode of operation, especially the ability to control channel branding text and images live to air. CJP Broadcast Service Solutions took a leading role in the design, engineering and implementation of the practical facilities at the School of Digital Arts at Manchester Metropolitan University recently. The project embraced the complete range of creative facilities from studios and motion capture to post-production. In phase one of the project, CJP was responsible for all the specialist cabling and infrastructure installed during the construction. This included routers, talkback and SPGs, as well as lighting supports and DMX dimmer equipment. Yeah, and in phase two, CJP, working with overall system integrator HG Damon, engineered and installed the technical facilities and furniture in all the new technical areas. This included two green screen studios and a film studio equipped with a 12K digital cinematography camera from Blackmagic Design. And now, singing the praises of a product we saw at NAB, we have Mr. MXF. Fabrics to demonstrate new QXP portable waveform monitor at MPS 2023. Now, I have to confess that I've seen this little piece of kit in action and I was awestruck. This tiny piece of kit can measure, monitor and analyze anything from high definition on SDI through to 12-bit RGB pixels showing high dynamic range P3 color space in true 4K that pretty much saturates a 25 gigabit per second link. Now, how they fit it into such a tiny box without it melting, I don't know. Fundamentally, this is a one-stop shop for investigating all the properties of any live signal in any location. Now, the technology inside is state-of-the-art and the wealth of information is incredible. Fundamentally, there are enough display modes to allow precise, real-time local measurement of, say, SDI jitter on the small screen and at the same time show a big 4K display showing the overall status of an SD2110 studio network. Oh, and there's an API to get to everything remotely. This device allows you to convert all the jargon in the industry into a nice visual display of that jargon to understand what it means. And it's also small enough to fit into a Brompton messenger bag. Hmm, I wonder if they miss it. Thank you very much, Mr. MXF, and hopefully you saw that Fabrics product at MPTS last week. But of course, if not, you can just head over to kitplus.com and search for Fabrics, and you will see the Kit Plus TV button where you can find all the videos we've done with the team from Fabrics over the years. Disguise has announced that for the first time, CAN attendees will be able to access five days of virtual production activities powered by its platform at the Film Festival's inaugural Virtual Production Summit. The summit will feature talks, demos and workshops on the future of entertainment with studio heads and filmmakers at Netflix, Paramount, Framestore, Nordisk Film and more. For anyone that wants hands-on experience, the summit will also offer a taster of Disguise's Virtual Production Accelerator course, which provides in-depth training on everything from lighting techniques to the colour science behind LED walls. And there's a new location opened up for Video Europe in Cardiff, which has long been an important centre for media. And it continues to thrive with major studios and production companies active in the region, not least in prestige drama. Video Europe is now 50 years old, established in 1973 to fill a strong market need for high quality equipment in the movie and broadcast sectors. The new facility in Cardiff supports the growing industry in Wales and the West by providing direct and rapid access to all the latest equipment. And another new location for ES Broadcast, who have opened a new equipment hire office in Reims in France. Sorry about the pronunciation there. The new facility will support ES Broadcast Hire's continued growth in the region and provide a more localised service to existing clients, including national broadcaster France Television and leading OB companies such as NEP and EMG. The team will also operate in close collaboration with the company's Madrid office to provide a support network for customers across Europe. Now, the use of video assistant referee, that's VAAR, if you hear me, uh, systems continues to gain momentum around the world and Broadcast Solutions has delivered another mobile VAR unit to the Association of Football Federations of Azerbaijan, that's AFFA. With the addition of this unit and implementing the project's first phase, AFFA have been officially certified for VAR by FIFA. 
And Gekis has announced the launch of its latest product, the Sabre X, a professional PTZ camera designed for high-end video production with true 4K video running at up to 60 frames per second with 30 times optical zoom. And a full range of connectivity options, the Sabre X offers ultimate performance for professional live streaming and recording. I think we've done something with that before. Yeah. Is that actually a new announcement? We'll look at it for that. So that's it for the news this week. Do check out the newkitplus.com website where you will find all the full length news stories, articles, kit for sale, links to the Kit Plus show, which is coming up on the 22nd of June in Media City, and also to the next Kit Plus auction, which is coming up on the 7th of June. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.